Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is FTV here for FTV Productions, of course. And today I'm back with a bang because uh, this is my 50th video, 50 video uploaded on YouTube, and I'm really excited about it. And I wanted to make special, and it is because it's my first ever requested tutorial, and it's been requested by quite a lot of people. And um, so I'm making it. So in this tutorial, as you can see from the title, also I'm going to show you how you can create a nice-looking watermark, a transparent one, like the one you see in the bottom right corner of this video, and here as well. Now, I've been getting quite a re lot of requests for it, and we got a lot of work to do, so we better hurry because we only got 10 minutes for it. So let's start right away. Alright, so first things first, what you want to do is go over to www.google.com and you want to search for AAA Logo Maker, and it's a free software that you, that's used to create logos, of course. Uh, but and I have to tell you something of the software, it's not freeware, so you have to pay for it, which is quite irritating and uh, not a good do. Not a good do. Yeah, not a good thing to do. Alright, I'm thoroughly confused. Alright, so what this does, it allows you to make the logo but it doesn't allow you to save. And as I said it's really frustrating to do that. But I'm gonna show you a trick that's gonna allow you to do it without the trial. So what I'll do is I'll select this free trial button. And, uh, and then I click on download now. I've already done all that, and you'll get a zip file. You want to extract it to your desktop, and you get then you'll get a set of file. And of course, you want to install the software. And um, this is the icon for it, and you want to click on that to run it for the first time. And these are just the some of the famous logos that have been created using the software. All I like to do is just select the first very first logo, and. Uh, delete everything that's here and uh, what what you want to do to do that is select one of these objects right here this one this one or this one even this one and you know select one of these objects and you can use these objects you can keep them they're really good objects but um, I like to make my own so I'll select the, that object I click on edit uh, sorry object remove object and you can even use a hotkey control R control R control R and control R and that leaves us with nothing but the text and I won't remove this text because I like the font to it and instead of home here I'm gonna write in FTV and as you can see in the watermark right here uh, it's actually FTV written in the exactly the same font so what I'll do is I'll select this home and click on text right here and please tell me if I'm rushing because I really don't have time just 10 minutes as I told you about us having time now and I've got to finish this tutorial in 10 minutes which is not good Alright, so I'm going to increase the font size a bit, just like that, and you can increase the character spacing, but I'll leave it to there. I right, click on OK, and then I'll select the second one, and you can simply move him around, and I'll select the second one, click on text, and so for it, I'm going to type in productions, productions of course, and click on, sorry, and you can decrease the character spacing here because it's a little spread, spread out, like that, and just increase the font size a bit, and click on OK, and as usual, you can move it around maybe to the side here and now one thing that caught attention I think was a flame looking thing that's really interesting and to do that simply it will, you want to move over to this pane here where it says icons and signs you want to click there and that's going to show you a long list of categories of objects uh, these are really nice objects you can use them and to just uh, s uh, if you click on them it will append them to your document but I didn't like one of these so, so I clicked on that and scroll down to the categories to the last one to call swishes and asymmetric and these are nice ones and the one I used was this one of course this one like right here and what it did was I selected that and I click on click on image now using this dialog box you can increase the height and width together using constant proportions or you can move them around separately I like to move them around uh, together and what I did was I changed the rotation angle to 90 degrees to rotate it 90 degrees and maybe I could lower down the size a bit more okay and I positioned it right here maybe it's a bit too large still so I'll lower down the size a bit more just like that and uh, I'll move it here and I changed the color to red and I used one of these style libraries you can select them or you can even click on this gradient and make your own gradient uh, select that, choose colors as in Photoshop but what I'd like to do is select this and uh, actually I'd like to select the gradient 
select this gradient, cancel, and uh, let's see if he has some nice little gradient here, a red looking one, maybe this one. Alright, so maybe that one looks good, and I'm going to do is go to the gradient, and in the color 2, I'm going to change it to red as well, so that it looks quite red. There you go, perfect, okay. And once you're happy with your logo, you can decorate it as much as you want. Once you're happy with it, you just want to hit print screen once, or maybe twice, and close the software. Now the problem with the software it is it won't allow you to save it, but I discovered a trick. What you want to do is print screen as I said, and open up paint hit control V to paste it and then you can simply close up that software just like that on saving the save changes uh, sorry and then you want to select the selection tool and grab a selection around your logo hit control X to cut control N for a new document and control V to paste it now simply what you'll do is if you have Photoshop and actually I think I lied at the beginning of the tutorial saying you won't be needing Photoshop for it, I think you'll be needing one, uh, Photoshop if you want something clear, sorry, but if you, if you just have paint, no worries, you can use the eraser tool and to rub out these like this and you can hit control plus, control plus on the keypad actually and to remove these just like this and you can do it very uh, time consumingly and uh, well, you know, you, you get the idea, and if you do that, you're good to go. You can even decrease the brush, uh, the brush, uh, sorry, the eraser size to get into tight spaces like these. And if you have paint, you're good to go. But if you're on Photoshop, you have a much better idea. For example, if you save it in the file, save as PNG, and I'm gonna name it the test save. And then I'll close the Photoshop. Now the problem with this is it's not transparent and the logo you see right here it's transparent so how do I do that simple I if you're in yeah uh, this trick only works in Photoshop so you probably won't be uh, good off good without Photoshop but no worries if you don't have Photoshop and you don't want to buy it just for this watermark just send me your created watermark and uh, I'll make it transparent and send it back to you without anyone letting know without letting anyone know I'm sorry and um, Alright, so now wasting any more time, what I'll do is I'll select this and I'll drag it to the Photoshop icon and paste it here, copy, and now comes the magic. You want to go over and select the eraser tool right here, click and hold and select the magic eraser tool right here. And what you'll do is click on this empty white area and bam, it makes it transparent. Great, very easy to do. And yeah, that's it. You're going to go to File, Save As. Save it to a desktop as test2 and uh, remember you have to save it as a PNG you have to save it as a PNG because JPEG doesn't support transparency and uh, to get non interlaced and minimize that and boom you're done all of your logo is transparent and the best thing is you didn't need to uh, erase those marks using paint so um, yeah, that's how you create a logo, and I think I have some time now, so I can even show you how to do it, how to apply that watermark to your videos. Now, to do that, I use um, Camtasia Studio 7. You can use whatever uh, version you have. So simple. I uh, just open up Camtasia Studio, and I'll hit Import Media very quickly, and I'll go over to Videos and uh, maybe capture number one I did it a while ago so I'll open it up and uh, what I'll do is I'll change important dimensions and when you're done editing your uh, video just click on produce and share and uh, select that pr custom production settings click on next and the next again next again next again and here if you're going to take on include watermark and then click on options and then you want to browse over to the watermark you just created on the desktop. Click on open. And uh, use transparent color, it automatically uses that color. And you can adjust this horizontal and vertical offset, position on the screen, etc. 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 When you're happy with that, you click on next, and next, and finish. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you are going to append a logo and a watermark to your image. 
So um, yeah, that's it. That's this was a really really fast tutorial because I didn't have time as I told you. If you need any more help with this, please leave a comment or send me a message. I'll be really really helpful to help you. The current time is 10 o'clock p.m. Oh, that's my clock. That's my clock there. I just love it. So hi, uh, yeah, I was here. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching once again.